Yesterday, as you know, the Democrats went to the White House to talk, and today the House Republicans will head there for a meeting with President Obama on the government shutdown standoff. This move comes amid new reports that a potential short-term deal that has been proposed by Congressman Paul Ryan is now gaining some steam among Republicans. Texas Congressman Kevin Brady is on the House Ways and Means Committee and Chairman of the Joint Economic Committee, and he joins me now. Congressman, good morning. Good to have you with us today. Hey, thank you, Martha. Uh, you said to me earlier, that uh, there's really two meetings today. The first one is going to get underway shortly, and I, I know you're going to be part of that meeting. For the Republicans to really discuss their strategy, uh, what are they saying going into that meeting? You know, uh, we're talking about a two-step strategy that really focuses on our goal, which is we got to tackle, finally, the real challenges facing America, which is how we save Social Security Medicare for the long term. Sequester's been helpful, but we've really been stepping over dollars to pick up dimes there. We think the big challenges are the entitlements. Republicans have the courage to do this and tackle this. I'm not sure the president or Democrats do, but we're going to focus on it. All right. Well, well Paul Ryan's plan would be to have a six-week extension. And the only way that the Republicans would agree to that six-week extension of the debt ceiling uh, or raising of the debt ceiling for six weeks would be if you could put tax reform and entitlement reform on the table for discussion, correct? Well, uh, whether that's part of the full package uh, or the short term hasn't been decided yet. My guess is the short term will be a down payment saying we are going to change our spending habits. I think we want more time uh, to lay out the growth issues like tax reform and energy, but also the spending restraint issues. What, what we really need, I think, at the end of the day is spending caps, guardrails around future spending from Congress. We just need a yeah. little more time, I think, to lay that out. I I mean, do you think the president is anywhere near ready to, to strike that kind of deal? He has not been interested in tax reform. He's not been interested in entitlement reform. He said those are off limits. Uh, it, this could be a, a, just a big non-starter. Well, maybe not. You know, he's teased his support for reforming the tax code for corporations. We think it needs to be done for everybody. Uh, he's teased out in his budget some small steps on Medicare and Social Security. In the past, he's always insisted on more tax revenues. That's not going to happen. But we can take items from his budget that he's proposed for the country and agree on uh, several of them. So let's take steps that he's already said, at least publicly, the Hill support. Well, it's going to be really interesting to see how receptive he is to any of this. He has made some uh, comments that lead people to believe that it's opening up a little bit and he might consider some of these, that he knows it's been difficult uh, for Republicans was one of the comments that, that, that he made. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look at this new Rasmussen poll because I, I <clears throat> saw this number this morning. I think it's shocking. 76% of the country believe that the United States is headed in the wrong direction. That's a stunning number, is it not, Congressman? Yeah, it really is. I mean, I felt that way, and our, our district has felt that way for a long time. I think the country <clears throat> has felt that way as well. It just tells you uh, that this brinksmanship isn't working, that how deep in debt we are isn't working. This very weak recovery, actually the weakest in modern history, isn't working. So for the president to say, I'm going to stay where we're at, I refuse to negotiate, refuse to change course, yeah. I think it makes but him let me, extreme. Let me ask you this, Congressman, because <clears throat> I, I think people are tired of crisis politics and they're tired of the brinksmanship game. So why is it that House Republicans, you know, four months ago, five months ago, didn't come forward with a plan and pass a bill for tax reform and entitlement reform of this nature uh, and, and, you know, put it put it out there four or five months ago. Then you folks could look back at it today and say, we've been wanting this for a long time. Why not? You know, um, great question. We began these discussions on these issues. The Ways and Means Committee that I serve on has actually spent two and a half years. We are very close to laying out the first top to bottom draft of tax reform since President Reagan did it. We've laid out entitlement reforms. What we haven't yet is put it in a full package because we What's want a president so to negotiate, to sit down. We know we can't do this by ourselves. And so we think the president so you, needs So you can only to, function to this way then us. is what you're saying. You've been working on tax reform for two and a half years, but you, you've been withheld it from a vote because you want to push it to the last minute for this kind of no, brinksmanship. That, and uh, that's Martha, what it sounded like. I'm sorry. Well, 
Well, that is not how it is. Republicans are serious about tackling these issues. You do need, in this constitutional gov government, a president to help lead. We're going to lead as Republicans. We'd like a partner in the White House with this, but we've got to tackle the big challenges, and we have the courage to do it. Yeah, it seems like the can gets kicked further down the road every time, and now we may be looking at a six-week extension, uh, during now, which time we may discuss some of these things, I guess. We can get to this solution, but we're going to have to do it the right way. All right, Congressman, thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, we wish everybody up there on Capitol Hill good luck in working this out because people are disgusted. Yeah. <laughs> Congressman, thank you so much. Great. Good to, good to you. have you here. So Republican